23 April 1915. The seagulls swooped, the fish flapped silver in the nets. 24 April 1915. And then the big ships came. Germany had surged across its borders and the world had shattered into war. So many countries. England, Germany, France, Belgium, Holland, South Africa, Kenya, Palestine, Egypt, Russia, Japan, Australia, New Zealand and Turkey. War snatched and battered many places. One was a Turkish beach. Pre-dawn, 25 April 1915. Grey sky, grey sea, Grey waves lapped blood-stained foam. The first feet touched the shore. Red flowers bloomed on the white sand like spring blossoms on the hills above. One by one men scaled the heights, up thorny gullies, stabbing cliffs with bayonets. They fought, too scattered to be an army now. Advance! Defenders stood on their home soil. Bullets whizzed like wasps. Fall back. May 1915. Men dug like wombats, hollowing out trenches deep in hills. They cut the brush for fences to hide for a short while from death. But death came hunting. Mortars tore through cold earth and men. Rockets like fireworks ripped the night. More ships brought men. They took back crumpled bodies, soldiers who sobbed in pain. Courage and compassion grew in ragged dirt. June 1915. Summer breathed heat on shattered hills. Flies feasted in the corpses. Rats fed, fat as puppies. Men's insides turned liquid. Disease killed more than bullets now. August 1915. Spring had faded. No flowers but blood here, under a parched and gun stained sky. September. 1915. A land with few names had new names now. Anzac Cove, Quinn's Post, Rhododendron Ridge, the Apex Farm and Lone Pine, forged by men who kept on going. October, November 1915. And still they came from the grey ships. Lives swept away like grains of sand. And still the defenders held their heels, except one where a lone pine had run. While men far away made decisions, altered lives. Advance. Defend. 17 December 1915. Retreat. The beach lay dark, though rocket fire crackled on the hills. But in that darkness, secret figures moved. 20 December 1915. The final six wore blankets on their feet to muffle crunching sand. The night wind kissed a chill good night as rowers reached the ships. 21 December. 1915. And in that winter morning they were gone. The beach lay empty, but for bones and blood and boxes. Waves slipped silent tongues among artillery casings. The dead rested underneath the sand. 1920, 1916, Bramble and thornbush clutch the broken earth. 
Seagull soared once more. No others came. To weep, salute, to turn wood crosses into stone. Ten, twenty, two thousand fifteen. And finally, ten thousand. They stood on grassy hills or on the sand. And they remembered, best we forget.